Now, during Eyewitness News at 6 o'clock, we told you that more than 80% of the school buses used by New Orleans public schools have not met their inspection requirements. Eyewitness investigative David Hammer found out that one of those uninspected buses actually got into a crash this week. Now, thankfully, no one was hurt, but after the accident is when things got really scary for some 10 and 11 year old kids. And David has that story in his ongoing series, Taken for a Ride. Ten-year-old Anthony Guichard knows accidents happen even when he's riding his school bus. He hit the car so hard he spun around. Anthony's school bus and a gray car crashed at the corner of North Broad and Dabody Monday evening. But it's what happened next that made it scary for Anthony. The driver had him and two other Mary McLeod Bethune Elementary students get off the bus, even though they were miles from their stops. He got back on the bus and left. And just left you here. Do you think he's supposed to do that? No. What do you think he's supposed to do? Bring us back on the bus and take us home. Anthony's mother, Lisa Guichard, was frantic when she learned her 10-year-old was on a busy street with strangers almost three miles from home. I gave you my son. You said you was going to take care of him. He gets off the bus. You leave him. Guichard called the school bus provider, BCH Services Group, and talked to owner Billy Hardrick Jr. He said um, that it was ridiculous that he had left the scene. It was ridiculous that the kids were here by themselves. He said, I'm a parent. I would not have known what to do to think that my child is out there by themselves. But when we called Hardrick, that's not what he told us. He said the driver never left the scene, just pulled around the corner onto Anzaga Street to exchange information with the driver of the car. Cedric Snow came outside his house when he heard the crash and saw something different. Put his right blinker on and instead of pulling over to the next free space, which is on the corner of Broad and Onzanga, he just took that ride and then sped off. Now let's take a look at what we can actually prove. Another neighbor, Morgan Clevenger, stood here and called 911. We can take a look at her cell phone to see what happened and when. Her phone shows the call to 911 was made at 5.35 p.m. And during the four minute call, she told the emergency dispatcher the bus was driving away. Then we looked up and the bus took off. NOPD seems to confirm that. This NOPD email says the responding officer arrived at 542, just seven minutes after the 911 call. A police report shows neither vehicle was there when the officer arrived. I guess they're waiting on the parents, but the, the cars are GOA. Roy Cage owns a bus company that does work for BCH Services Group. It was his driver who was actually behind the wheel of the bus. Cage said he hurried to the scene after he heard about the accident and arrived at 6.05. That's a half hour after Clevenger's 911 call and 23 minutes after the NOPD officer says the bus was gone. Cage insists the driver was still parked around the corner on Onzaga when he got there. That doesn't make sense to Clevenger. Even if the bus was around the corner, which we don't know because we were here with the kids, um, and the supervisor did show, when he did show up, why didn't he have the bus driver come back to the scene to talk to the police? Bethune Charter School Operations Manager Armand Devizin said he accepts the bus company's claim that it always had a representative with the kids. So does New Orleans Public Schools Safety Officer Ulysses Collins. And we have been in constant communication with the impact of school NOPD and the transportation company and has reported to us that the bus driver actually did not leave the scene until the owner of the company did arrive at the location. Okay, so Mr. Cage got there before the driver left? As reported to us. But again, the police said there was no sign of the driver when they got there just seven minutes after Clevenger's 911 call. Hardrick and Cage said they fired the driver, but only because they have a no accident policy. That's not what shook up Anthony Guichard. Were you scared at all? Yes. You scared to be out here with people you didn't really know? Yes. David Hammer, Eyewitness News. Well, photos taken after that accident show the bus uses a temporary license plate and has none of the required markings or city tags. So a city spokesperson confirmed that none of BCH's buses has been certified or inspected. Hardwick says he's working to get buses and drivers certified three weeks after BCH took over the school's routes from another bus company.